welcome to Wild Alive. And as you can see, I'm up on the rooftop of my house uh, for this particular tutorial. And the reason for that is because I want to show you today how to make the nest of a white stork. Now, unfortunately, white storks uh, became extinct in the UK around 600 years ago. Uh, they're slowly being reintroduced to the UK uh, right now, which is really exciting. But in the meantime, we've lost the, one of the incredible habitats that they used to ecosystem engineer, and that was their own nest sites. Now, white stork nests are absolutely huge. They can be 1.5 metres tall and 1.5 metres across. Uh, incredible structures. Uh, the storks build on them year after year after year, adding more and more sticks until they can be over a tonne in weight. And these nests create an amazing habitat, not just for the birds to nest in themselves, but also for so many other creatures. The storks bring in grasses to line the nest and other plant material, and over a hundred different species of grasses and wildflowers have been, uh, seeds have actually been found inside white stork nests. And when you think that these are high up uh, on the roofs of buildings, in trees, and other places high up in the landscape, then the wind can redisperse those plants across the environment, which is fantastic. Uh, but the stork's nest also fantastic nest sites for colonially nesting house sparrows and tree sparrows. Uh, they're important winter hibernation sites for butterflies and moths uh, and other insects and, or, as well. So they're, they're incredible habitats and unfortunately we've lost those habitats. Only 200 miles away from here in France, uh, we see rooftops covered in white stork nests, which is fantastic for the birds, uh, but also for so many other creatures. So um, it's really important to remake these habitats. So let's have a go at it ourselves. Let's make our own white stork nest today. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. Really, really simple. And uh, let's see what, what comes. So what materials do you need to make a white stork nest? Well, it couldn't be simpler. First of all, you need a bucket load of twigs. Uh, different sizes I've got here. I've tried to focus on the sort of sizes of sticks I would expect uh, a white stork to be able to carry. Uh, nothing too large, so up to about 50 centimetres in length and just, just slightly wider than my thumb in diameter. Uh, I've got a lot of sticks here. Um, and we're going to use these sticks to make the bulk of the nest, the outer layer of the nest. Um, I've also brought some uh, cut grasses and flowers from a local meadow close to a river, so the kind of environment that a white stork would be foraging for its food. Uh, so we've got that to line the nest. And then finally, white storks often bring manure and plants into the nest. So I've got a little bit of turf here, again, picked from near, uh, near to a river. So again, a classic sort of white stork habitat. We're gonna line the inside of the nest with uh, the grasses, the seeds, and this turf. So this is our final white stork's nest. Try to make it as thick as possible so there's plenty of protected spaces in here and shelter spaces for insects uh, to overwinter and also potentially for nesting birds like house sparrows. Uh, we've got our uh, grass seeds in the middle here and a little bit of um, vegetation as well, some turf. Uh, so it looks like it's actually 
uh, a freshly made stork's nest at the moment. So if by a miracle a white stork flies over, it's going to think, hey, this is a fab place. There's already storks nesting in this area. And you can but hope. Um, but generally, uh, really pleased with it. Uh, it. Took about an hour to put together once we've got all the materials up here on the roof. And uh, just really good fun. So um, go and have a go. If you look on the internet, you'll find white stork nests of all shapes and sizes. Um, so make your own. Um, send me pictures, I want to see what they look like and let's create more habitats like wild storks do. Mm -hmm.